If you want like durable social, cultural evolution on an issue, if you want people to have developed and cultivate some sort of empathy amongst people who are inclined to disagree with you, because it's always important in a context like this to say a word for pluralism. The goal is not to live in a society where we all agree with one another on everything. It's mm -hmm. to create a space enough for us all to exist in our own weird, particular way, whatever our particular religious inclinations are, our intimate inclinations are. Like we can find room for you in this tapestry of America. Like that's, that's the goal. And there's something I find just really jarring about one comedy being the place where these battles are playing out now, which is, which is very interesting because in general, I don't think we want to hurt each other. We don't want to offend each other. We may have concerns about one another's behavior, but even that stuff, most people want to talk about in a way that is kind of respectful and that is courteous and arrives at a solution. I think that's the case most of the time. Um, but there's, there's something really weird about the, the, the preemptive and very performative outrage that tends to accompany the release of these comedy specials. I, I mm -hmm. seem to remember Louis C.K.'s Sorry special having kind of animating the same sort of concern very recently about the same issue, tra trans jokes. But I also remember the very first joke in that special happening to be about pedophilia. And nobody mentioned it, yeah, it was right. a, mm -hmm. it was a, what it was, it was one, a hilarious joke. It was also brutal. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm Very not funny. a fan of pedophilia and I don't yeah, think yeah. people should make light of pedophilia. And I think Louis CK would generally agree with that, but this is also comedy and that's how it works. And we appreciate that on a range of other issues. People make jokes about, about rape, about murder, about incest, about a range of things about war. Um, and we find ways to cope with that. And at least even if we don't find it funny, we can turn the station. We can we can not log into that particular yeah. website. We can like not Dave Chappelle that said, you clicked fine. on my face, right? Like, what are you doing <laughs> yeah, exactly. if you don't like it? And these people at Netflix, if they're upset uh, over, you know, this the Ricky Gervais thing, they're in for quite a disappointment, given the Netflix statement just last it's week wonderful. that if, if yeah. you don't if you don't the like the things we statement. put out, yeah, yeah you don't yeah. need to work here. Hello. That's exactly the right. There are all sorts of places you can work. You don't have to work at a Spotify or a Netflix or right. a Sirius XM if you don't believe in free speech and the different points of view that people want to express that may be diametrically opposed to your own move along. I always tell my staff, not this particular staff because they're awesome, but I've said to <laughs> people who work for me for years for that, there's key bank. You don't want to work the weekends. No problem. You go to key bank. It's wonderful. Opens up at nine, closes at four. You're good. Nobody bothers you. You, you choose a certain profession for, in this case, news, you know that your life's going to be a little chaotic. You choose to go work for a company like Netflix. You're going to be subjected to, POVs from all across the spectrum if Netflix is doing its job right and they appear to be determined to do so, right? at least now, right? I mean, I think their experiment in wokeification of <laughs> yeah. America has failed as a business batter and they've gotten back on track. I mean, to Matt's point about where, why it kind of is playing out in the comedy battlefield, this has become the battlefield, is kind of my issue with the the kind of trans conversation in general. I mean, I've studiously avoided it just because I don't have a huge interest in it. And I kind of watch from the sidelines and say, you know, that is a hockey fight. There's no, there's no kind of ballet in that. That's just brutality. Mm -hmm. And I'm not very interested in the idea, but because it has become so brutal, it has gone to the comedy world because that's the place where you can actually have these conversations, the kind of last place you can have these conversations. Mm -hmm. And comedians don't really care. In, the, in a sense, the more taboo subjects they take on, the better the specials do, which is what you see in the Netflix reaction, which is, you know, it's pretty good for business. I think those Dave Chappelle specials did very, very well. But the main, main thing with this is that it presumes a lot. It presumes that, that this stuff hurts people. And it doesn't. And if you go back and look at, you know, um, you know, Eddie Murphy's uh, specials from early 80s, kind of homophobic. And guess what happened since then? Things got kinda. a lot. Yeah. Better. Black Rifle Coffee Company is a veteran founded company serving premium coffee to people who love America. They develop their explosive roast profiles with the same mission focus learned as military members serving this great country of ours. Black Rifle Coffee imports high quality coffee beans from Colombia and Brazil, and they roast them five days a week at their facilities in Manchester, Tennessee and Salt Lake City, Utah, which means you get the freshest coffee possible no matter where you live. Enjoy the awesome packaging and unique flavors like Silencer Smooth, Lava Panther, and all of them sound so cool and they are delicious. 
The best way to enjoy Black Rifle's freedom-filled coffee is with the Black Rifle Coffee Club. When you join the club, you see your brew of choice is roasted, it's packaged, and it's shipped free to your door on your schedule. Not only do you save a trip to the store, you receive special discounted pricing on roasts, you gain access to exclusive products, partner discounts, and you get to be part of the coolest club on the planet. The most important piece of it is you can get the mugs, which are my favorite mugs. I love them. They're just the right size. They have cool designs. It's a win-win situation. Buy at BlackRifleCoffee.com. Use the code MK at checkout for 20% off your purchase and your first coffee club order. BlackRifleCoffee.com slash MK. Use that code MK, please. Black Rifle Coffee is America's coffee. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.